Well, uh, my name, if you don't know it by now, <laughs> where have you been? I'm Skid from the Glass Cannon Podcast, and today I'm sitting here with uh, the beloved, internationally beloved, except in Canada, Matthew Capitacaza. He's here to talk to us about his uh, character from our Ruins of Aslant campaign. And How my love doing? for Canada. And your and your love for Canada. We can we can mislead people all you want. We all know the truth. Matthew, um, what's uh, what is it about your character that excites you? What is there? If uh, if if I was uh, Jeff Goldblum in the fly mm -hmm. um, and I was turning you. into like a, a half insect monster. Um, OK, let me start over. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? What is it about your character that you find exciting? What, what was the hook for you for your uh, character? I think he's such a he's probably of all the characters I've played on our one podcast because I keep keep dying uh, is he's a positive character. Like he actually has a positive outlook on the world. He's so excited to see the world, to interact, to try new things. He doesn't have a, I mean, he has a backstory. He has some secrets. Don't worry. He's co he's a complicated figure. But he also is just like he's a generally positive person. I'm excited to see what it's like to play a positive person in this dark, evil world. So what about uh, what kind of skill sets? Like what does he bring to the table well, skills wise? Well, he uh, he doesn't he's a swashbuckler. Mm. So he, he he's a swordsman, uh, but he can't claim to be very skilled in many other things. He's he, he loves his fine wines. He loves his afternoons by the sea, sitting with friends, being a man of leisure. And he loves crossing steel. But other than that, he doesn't really know much of anything at all. So uh, this is, if I were to go on a blind date mm. with this character, what, 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 where would he take me? Where, what kind of a date would it, what would it be? How would you describe the date? Uh, it would be top notch. The spare, he would spare no expense. We would go out to the finest, the finest trotteria. In, <laughs> we, would, we, would t we would have a wine flight of the newest, well, actually the, the most popular vintages. I guess your freshest wine. Your freshest you. wine I'm, you have. <laughs> the newest. <laughs> the newest. <laughs> Wait. Uh, and then he would take you for a long walk on the beach and show you off, show, show off all of the grand palaces of the city. Okay. Wow. Okay. So uh, are you willing to disclose casting? Because this is someone that's very, sounds very charming. Sounds like sounds almost like an Errol Flynn type. I don't want to cast this for you, but it sounds very Errol Flynn to me. Are you willing to talk about who you did actually cast as this person? Of course, we did. You and I did discuss Errol Flynn, but then I think I ultimately decided to go with a non-Nazi spy. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to Errol Flynn or his wait, family. what? <laughs> Didn't you see the Rocketeer? Um, oh no, I actually no. Never mind then. <laughs> I've ruined something here. Oh, I uh, won't now. Uh, he is played by a young, especially flop-haired Hugh Grant. Ah, okay. I like him. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's committed some crimes. Yeah, that's, that's that's good though. We're going pre those crimes though. Oh, pre pre crime criminal activity. Pre, pre Jay Leno interview. Yes. Okay, great. Um, so uh, uh, where's he from? Like, where where would you describe his point of origin? Uh, he's from Almas. He's a native. Uh, he. Uh, He's lived there his entire life, and now he's eager to strike out into the colonies to make a name for himself. That's all I'll say about that. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on trial here. Uh, so, all right, well, I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, I think this is, I was really uh, kind of worried about the, how well everyone rolled for all of their ability scores, you included. But then I remembered how bad you all are at Pathfinder, and I stopped being worried at all. So yeah. I'm just excited, and uh, I think this guy—I think it's a really fun group of 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 characters. I think they're going to bounce off each other in really exciting ways. And thank you, Matthew Capitacaza, for sitting down with me. No, thank you, Skid. No, thank you. No, and thank um, you. you. You're the last one, so you can just sit there. Okay. Okay. Thank Great. you.